Rangnick admits Greenwood arrest was factor in Lingard call. Ralph Rangnick has admitted that Mason Greenwood's arrest influenced Manchester United's decision to keep Jesse Lingard at Old Trafford beyond the January transfer window. United reiterated on Thursday that Greenwood will not play for the club or train until further notice despite his release on bail pending further investigation after he was arrested on suspicion of rape, sexual assault and threats to kill. Rangnick confirmed that the situation with the 20-year-old England forward impacted on Lingard's hopes of leaving United on loan for the rest of the season after the club rejected offers from Newcastle and West Ham on deadline day. Premier League unless stated Friday Middlesbrough, H, FA Cup 4th round Tuesday Burnley, A, February 12 Southampton, H, February 15 Brighton, H, February 20 Leeds United, A, February 23 Atletico Madrid, A, Champions League last 16, first leg yes, in a way, said United's interim manager. It was two things, one thing was obviously that we had a problem with Mason Greenwood and being without a player for the time being who has played regularly in the last couple of weeks. On the other hand, the club couldn't find an agreement with any other club, for Lingard. The board told me they couldn't find an agreement with any clubs interested in him. With the window closing on Monday evening, the board informed me they would rather he stay, and that is something I fully understand. On Lingard's desire to leave United after 21 years for the final six months of his contract, before becoming a free agent in the summer, Rangnick added, three weeks ago, Jesse didn't want to leave, then he changed his mind. I had a chat with him 10 days ago, and I could fully understand why he wanted to leave to get game time for his future in the World Cup. I told him, if he finds a club and the club find a solution with our club I would allow him to leave. In the last couple of days things changed a little bit. We also had no agreement with any other club, so we had to take a final decision as the board and keep Jesse until the end of the season. Rangnick insisted that United's training has gone well ahead of Friday night's FA Cup tie at home to Middlesbrough despite the distraction of Greenwood's arrest. In fact, we had a good normal week of training with five sessions including today, he said. Obviously it was a topic within the team. They're human beings and Mason was part of the group before we had our break. But we could train under normal circumstances and we are looking forward to the game tomorrow. Greenwood's absence means United's squad has been further depleted after Anthony Marshall, Donny van de Beek and Ahmad Diallo were allowed out on loan. However, Rangnick is happy with the players at his disposal despite not bringing in any new signings during the window. The group was slightly too big, he said. We had too many players not seeing the chance to get regular playing time. This is why I'm happy for the club and also the players. Donny, Anthony, and Ahmad deserve regular game time, I wish them all the best. Ahmad has already played and scored in his first game, for Rangers. I'm pretty sure Anthony and Donny will do well at Sevilla and Everton and come back in the summer in good form. Rangnick confirmed that Paul Pogba will be in the squad against Boro and could start his first game for three months following a thigh injury. Lingard has been given a few days off to clear his mind and Edinson Cavani has also asked to delay his return from Uruguay. Victor Lindelof has been ill, Eric Bailey returned from the Africa Cup of Nations with an ankle injury, and Luke Shaw will return at left-back because Alex Tells played 90 minutes of Brazil's World Cup qualifier against Paraguay on Wednesday. Paul will be part of the group he might even be in the starting eye, said Rangnick. Edie Cavani will only return at the weekend. He contacted me to ask if he could have two more days at home. He won't be part of the group. Lindelof has been ill the 